What's your best story that is 100% real but nobody believes you? My dad, when in Vietnam, got his leg gashed on patrol. He then used a super hot M60 barrel to cauterize it. He even has a scar to prove it, but people don't believe him. My friend got a girl pregnant when he was 13 and the girl was 15. They met at the beach in Panama City, Florida. She was rich and lived in Ohio. He was poor and lived in Georgia. My friend never told anyone but me. He is now 28 and has a 15 year old kid only I know about. The only reason he got away with it is because this girl's family was super rich. The girl never said who the guy was and would sometimes fly down to visit him in secret. I did not believe this shit until I saw pictures of his kid. His kid has never met him either and I do not think he even knows he exists. I always daydreamed that if my friend died I would have to tell his parents that he actually had a kid and they had been a grandma slash grandpa for 15 years and never knew it. When I was in elementary school my brother and I were walking home from school after it had rained all day. He started reaching his hand in all the puddles. I asked him what he was doing. Sometimes there's money in these. Three or four puddles later he pulled out a $20 bill. Not sure if he ganked it from somewhere else and planted it or it was legit. Either way, I now check puddles for treasures when there are no witnesses. When I was 15 years old I was in my kitchen. Home alone. Cutting a pineapple. There was a fly that was buzzing around my face for the past 2 minutes and it was getting really ducking annoying. So, just for the heck of it, out of pure blind rage, I grabbed my knife and swung it at the fly in midair. I sliced the fly in half, sliced it, in ducking half. After I did that, I immediately realized no one would ever believe me. How good are you with a sword? See that fly? Swish with sword. UMM. The fly is still alive. But that fly will never have sex again. On the way to visit a friend, my husband and I got lost on a highway in Pennsylvania. By some weird chance, my husband's friend drives past us in the opposite direction. We see him and turn around to catch up to him. Finally pulling over, we are standing on the side of the road, two lane highway, discussing the directions to the friend's house. Surrounding us are farms with corn and other various crops. Out of nowhere, a duck appears on the opposite side of the road. He is looking at us curiously while we are talking. We watch him look both ways and waddle across the road to where we are standing. Cars are honking at him as they attempt to drive past. He gets over to my husband, pecks at his shoe once, and then promptly walks back across the street dodging cars traveling at highway speed. He made it back across the street and disappeared into the crops. He risked his life to peck my husband's shoe and simply waddled out of our lives. Was walking home when I was 16 and a car pulled up behind me. Inside were four guys in balaclavas and a gun pointing out the window. The gun went click. So I ducking bombed it over a hedge and ran like hell to the sound of some guy yelling wait. We are not going to harm you. Apostrophe. Edit. Since so many people are asking. Not likely a prank. Nope. Friendly neighborhood terrorists. Either the IRA or UVF. Probably the IRA. A boy in my high school was into supernatural stuff and he claimed he had somehow seen me in my bedroom. He described in detail what I was wearing. Everyone thought that I was in on it. I wasn't. I was responsible for almost getting game 3 of the 2004 World Series lockdown because I was radioactive. I was in Sao Paulo, Brazil, on a business trip. The night before departure I wanted a drink, but the lounge of the hotel was closed for a private party. I didn't want to go out of the building alone at that time, so I started talking to one of the private guards. Then this lady came closer and asked if there are problems. I explained her I was hoping to get a drink, but didn't want to bother. She started talking in a very good English, I can speak enough Portuguese to get by, but am definitely not fluent, and explained me, it was a party after a wedding. She was older than me, probably late 40s, but very good looking. She asked me if I wanted to join her upstairs for a drink, and she brought me to her room. We spent 30 minutes banging on every possible surface, until she told me she had to go back to the lounge. I asked her why the hurry, and she told me she was the mother of the bride. I felt like an Amastercode advert. 
In 2010, I was visiting my aunt in New York with my family. We went to the Metropolitan Museum of Art early on a Tuesday, and while walking around I thought I saw Will Ferrell in sunglasses and a hat. So I walked up and asked him if he was Will Ferrell. He looked me in the eyes and said yes in fact I am. So I asked for a picture and autograph and he promptly said no. Because if I do then you can prove you really met me then he walked off. I once was walking and listening to music when I found a $20 bill on the ground. The song that was playing was money for nothing. No one ever believes me. I was 8 years old and my babysitter was 16. My parents worked extremely late, overnight, so she often slept over. One night she decided to sleep in my bed. I asked her to show me her boobs, and she did, and told me I could touch them. She also was only wearing a thong. It's probably borderline sexual assault or something. But I didn't care. I was the only 8 year old that had asked to see tits and received. I looked her up on Facebook recently, and she is a beast. I was walking down my driveway to wait for the school bus in middle school. And I noticed a cute little fawn maybe 10 yards away. I live in a wooded area. I was just thinking how cute this little guy was when its mother comes crashing through the woods. Headbutts my hip and then hauls ass back through the trees with its baby. I had a bruise on my hip for a week and no one would believe how I got it. When I was about 16 I was in a restaurant in Melbourne with my cousin. I noticed a young guy eating with his family. I said to my cousin ha ha hey look it's Harry Potter because of his similarities to Daniel Radcliffe. My cousin replied uhh that is Harry Potter. It was. He was in Australia shooting an Aussie film. A bit later I went to the toilet to pee. Whilst I was at the urinal Daniel came in and began to pee in the urinal next to me. I looked over at him and we made eye contact and he said nice one finished. Washed his hands and walked out. No one has ever believed this and only my cousin can vouch for the fact that we saw him but not for what he said in the toilet. TL. Doctor. Daniel Radcliffe. Harry Potter. Told me I had a nice wand whilst we were urinating next to each other. When I was a wee little thing I loved the Power Rangers. This was when the Power Rangers first came out they were all that was good and right with the world and damn it. I was a member of their fan club. I was in Discovery Zone and I saw them the Power Rangers. Who'd shown up for some kid's birthday in a private room. I begged and pleaded with my father to let me meet them. But he told me that I couldn't go in there because it wasn't my party and I didn't know anyone and they would kick me out. In theory, he was right. Well, as we walked away, my little feet trudged me back to the door. I cracked it open and slipped into the private room where other kids were having a blast and the Power Rangers were talking to everyone equally. I got to meet them, shake their hands, and give them all hugs, and it was probably the defining moment of my life up until that point. I was maybe 6 to 7. My dad looked mortified, but walked into the private room in an attempt to fetch me and apologize. But lo and behold, no one really cared that I was there. No one seemed to notice that I didn't know anyone. And none of the parents seemed to notice that no one knew my father. In hindsight, most of the parents probably didn't know each other and were at the party just to be with their kids. At this point I should mention that I met the Power Rangers. Not some people dressed in Power Ranger costumes, but the actors who played them on TV at the time. I didn't even understand the concept behind actors. So to me, these guys were the Power Rangers, and when they left, they would go back to fighting monsters. I spent an hour with some random kids who became my friends, and them a third king Power Rangers, before I got tired, wished everyone goodbye, and they waved back, like we'd been friends forever. The other kids were friendly, the Power Rangers were awesome people, and the parents all seemed chill about it. TL. Doctor. Crashed a party. Met the Power Rangers. No ducks given. When I was little my younger brother and I were always staying with babysitters during the day. This one time. We were with the same babysitter for a few months. As soon as we got to her house I would hang me and my brother's coat on the coat hangers that were strategically placed right before the basement stairs. My brother was too little to reach the coat hangers so I would have to hang his for him. Well one day he got this stubborn idea that he wanted to hang his own coat. I remember being nervous, but I'll let him try anyway. He picks the hanger 
that is the closest one possible to the top of the basement stairs. As he is on his tiptoes, struggling to reach the hangar, he all of a sudden falls over and down the basement stairs. The babysitter heard him crying, then accused me of pushing my baby brother down the stairs. She told my mom about it later. To this day, no one believes me that I didn't do it. I would never hurt my little brother. A condom fell from the sky and hit my windscreen. Only me and my friend were in the car at the time. Also the condom was used. Sorry about that I was aiming for your friend. I got a call from a police officer telling me if I didn't pay some old fines within a week he would come arrest me. The total was $267. 63. It was about 2 weeks before Christmas, so I was really sweating it. The very next day I got a check in the mail for $267. 63 for overpaid child support throughout the year. Craziest, most unexplainable thing I've ever had happen to me. I shot a BB gun and pinned a wasp to my friend's patio wall. She was there and saw it, but her brother definitely didn't believe us was working at a bar with a girl who used to be married to a pro wrestler. One night the British dog, Sid Viscous and macho man Randy Savage come in for beers and to say hi to her. They ended up hanging out all night and get loaded. And she tells me that they are looking for some drugs. Called my dealer at the time and he dropped some off and I and another bartender were invited invited to go drinking with them after our shift. Ended up going in a limo with Sid and macho man and doing tons of drugs on way back to their hotel, where we witness mean Gene Ockel and killing it with some 20 something girls. Best part of the night, and maybe my life, we pulled up to a stoplight and macho man, incredibly amped at this point, as we all were, sticks half out of the sunroof next to a group of people waiting to cross the light and scream snap into a Slim Jim, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. He scared the shit out of about half of them, and then the cheers erupted. I still chuckle about it till this day. When I was like 11 I went to this big children's fishing festival where all the kids in attendance got their names put into a hat and then drawn out to determine which guide they were paired with in groups of 2 to 3 per guide. Well lo and behold, my name is first, so my brother and I get to go with the number one guy there, who happens to be a professional fisherman or something. The guy was the only guide to come with his own cameraman like an actual cameraman tagged along with us. So apparently this guy, who was very nice, and I had a great time with, is a somewhat famous fishing video maker and my brother and I were filmed every time we reeled in a fish. The guy told us we may make it into one of his videos or even onto a fishing TV show, but he didn't know for sure. So one day I'm sitting there watching Espen on a Sunday morning before church and no shit. There I'm with my little brother catching a bigger swally. Of course my parents were getting ready and my brother was in the shower so no one else saw it, but it was nuts. This was before DVR or anything, and I had no idea it was coming, so I couldn't set up a recording, but I was on Espen for like 30 seconds. Probably the pinnacle of my fame right there. As a child I can remember standing out on the apartment balcony and watching kangaroos in the distance. My mother used to make homemade clay for me to play with using flour and some other kitchen materials. I didn't have a bed. Slept in a mostly empty room with a few toys. Mostly cars and one of those Hot Wheels tracks that go around a loop. I've never been outside the U.S. Comma. My mother claims she's never done this or even knows how to make clay and that I've always had a bed. And I'm 100% sure I'm not adopted. Sure enough those memories are there. Multiple memories of it. Not like some kind of weird out of the ordinary kind of memory. More like. Those were general kind of memories from childhood. Please subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.